Hey guys, this is Hetu and welcome or welcome back to Till Cable Labs. So I hope that you all are doing great and uh, learning a lot from the channel. Uh, today we will take up this two tricky SQL interview questions. Um, this question basically came uh, over email uh, from somebody. Uh, they said that uh, he said that uh, he has got these questions in one of the interviews recently yeah so I thought that I'll cover it uh, especially the second question is very tricky guys okay and uh, there is concept behind it I'll just uh, will just uh, you know uh, solve then I, I can actually uh, walk you through each and every uh, you know a step around this right <coughs> so let's start then the first question is uh, given daily salary of the employees calculate the monthly salary per employee based on working days right so let's say you have an employee you have employee uh, which is basically marked on daily basis right so present so whenever he is present his salary is supposed to be counted and whenever he is not present uh, on that particular day his salary will be zero uh, will not be calculated for that particular day right so this is how actually we want to find out the monthly salary of each of this employee right and uh, there is uh, for so that particular table contains the necessarily the data for uh, what do you say for whole month right and then you actually calculate it okay the salary might vary but for the simplicity we have actually taken the same salary for every day uh, for the employee every day right uh, so that's the reason it's a bit of challenge right because if the salary is actually varying on everyday basis then adding up and making sure uh, will be a difficult task right now the second question is given product and customer table write a query to fetch the latest product name by each customer i think this is very tricky guys so personally i feel this is very tricky um, do let me know if you feel this is easy and uh, you know um, happy to take up take uh, your opinion as well all right so let's start then uh, with these queries and um, important one guys that's why i'm saying right so these are the very very important queries and 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 you will use the concepts here so you'll see that okay now the first question right given a daily salary of the employee calculate the monthly salary based on his working days or he, her working days right so this is the employee table right now employee id employee name department id department name and all these columns are there attendance date and then attendance attendance is p r a okay all right this is only for one employee which is adam uh, but this can be hmm, well um, okay fine i mean forget about this attendance date guys i'm not going to use this but okay i just uh, kept it okay so this is uh, this is something okay so what i want to do is basically for example for adam employee id 1 I want to actually add it up all of this wherever we have attendance P okay similarly I will be having another employee let's say Christoph and for Christoph also I'll be having some uh, attendance P A P A based on that I will actually uh, calculate right so how we actually do it so normally we know that this kind of question actually we can solve using uh, group by right group by how we group it basically group by based on employee id right you can actually use employee id uh, to group the data group this right uh, group this and get this data so some of uh, so this is the query right now i have actually taken department name employee name so these are the two columns that actually i need okay they are the two columns that i need I need employee name and department department name okay they are the two columns that I need and along with that I want the sum of the salary and that should be called as a monthly salary from the employee where 
so I'm saying attendance is P then only you actually go and calculate and then grouping based on employee name and department name right employee name and department name right now one mistake can here be that you know the employee can be with the same name because that is not the primary key and the department name can also be the same in that case so this query uh, in reality might error out whenever those kind of data we have right so let's try to go to the SQL and see that how we can actually modify this particular query right now if I just say here I have Adam and I have Christoph. I have two employees only but in this case what I want to do is I also want to take employee ID because employee ID is one of the primary key right and this employee ID if I am taking in select this will also go to uh, go in here actually okay same sequence okay now if I run it I think I'll get it perfectly okay all right see employee ID 1 Adam IT and then monthly salary 2000 is it really 2000 can I just check it for Adam select star from EMP employee okay employee where EMP ID equal to 1 and attendance equal to P alright let's see how many we get very nice okay so this is one how many 10 rows right 10 into uh, everyday salary for simplicity we have taken the same so 10 into 2, this is 2000 this is perfect okay 2000 perfect and same is for Christoph right so Christoph also same thing uh, has come so this is the way how actually you can get it this is relatively easier question guys okay this is not like a very tough question but the idea here is actually you have to use the where clause group by where clause where you want to actually filter only present day and then you have to actually use uh, this group by so that you can group the data and for a particular employee and get sum it up right the average salary uh, sorry the sum of the salary okay now this is done uh, second question hopefully you are able to understand guys okay so I can just say here EMP ID I just taken it here I realize that this is also important all right so I'll put it here perfect guys uh, where are we okay I think we are good now second question so this is tricky question guys right given a product and customer table write a query to fetch the latest product name by each customer okay so if you see here uh, you have the customer table which is customer ID customer name placed ID and product ID now we have the product ID product table where we have the product ID and product name okay what I want to do here is I want to actually get the fetch the latest product name latest product name for each of this particular customer so for example Adam is here right so Adam is having how many records one two three four and which one is the latest for Adam I have to actually identify based on the placed ID placed ID is incremental so if you see 104 is the latest one and what exactly Adam has ordered on 104 he has ordered product ID 1 which is actually mobile right now same thing for Christoph so Christoph uh, I have not taken all the data here but uh, you know we'll check it basically so for Christoph is this and then third one is uh, I mean um, there will be record so now we see that the uh, the placed ID is highest for Adam and the product ID is equal to one so which will come actually Adam should have the mobile okay now <clears throat> this kind of question usually we cannot actually directly put a join or we cannot uh, directly you know uh, take it so normally we have to do the use the partition partition by uh, partition by clause right and this is something new that's why I'm saying we have to use the partition by uh, clause uh, to segregate the data for each of this customer so for example customer ID 10 
I want to partition the customer ID 10 as one partition and then within that particular partition yeah within that partition I will actually um, arrange the data based on uh, highest placed ID I mean basically placed ID uh, here you see right the highest placed ID in the descending order which means the fourth one will come on top like 104 will come on top then 102 101 101 so something like that which means the index within that particular partition will be one for this 104 similarly for Christoph whichever is the highest placed ID that particular ID will get uh, the uh, uh, you know ranking as one right so similarly and the, at the end I will say I want to actually take only uh, row number one and then I am actually shorted here right so this is what uh, we have to actually use it this is working in um, MySQL but I think for uh, for Oracle you can actually simply use instead of dense rank we can use the row num here right because row num uh, is available in uh, in Oracle but not in uh, MySQL okay so let's go to SQL Workbench and see that what we actually get it. Okay, now we have it here. All right. Why this is giving me error? What is that? Okay, this one. No? All right. Now we are done. Now if I just run it, all right. You see, guys, um, for Adam, right? So what we did, we did actually partition, partition based on uh, placed ID. Uh, sorry customer ID right so I can actually also take this customer ID here C dot customer ID let's see what happens hmm? I'll show you okay uh, why it's not coming oh, oh but here I have to check take customer ID okay now this should work okay perfect customer ID Adams customer ID is 10 and these are the 10 records which are there now in query if you look at it it's little tricky okay so you have to just uh, see that how it works what is happening is what we are doing we are actually creating a temporary table here with latest this is the syntax we are actually creating a temporary table and this queries output will be stored in this particular temporary table okay as this this is the actually query and this query this data whatever we are selecting here all these columns will be stored into latest record this is the temporary table okay so I'm saying select customer ID customer name product name and what also I'm doing is I'm actually storing a row number and this row number is what this row number is basically a dense rank which is doing the partition by customer ID so based on this customer ID hmm, I am actually partitioning the data so for all the customer ID 10 data will be together okay like this okay and then what I am doing here is order by placed ID so placed uh, order by uh, play if I say here placed ID as well guys I can show you uh, if I can just take this placed ID as well hmm? okay let me take it here actually I don't want I want to keep it here actually hmm? Okay, now I will say it here as well. Placed ID. Hmm? Now this will be much clear. You see, now placed ID. What we did, we did, we said the placed ID should be in descending order, right? Placed ID should be partition by uh, customer ID and order by placed ID descending, which means the placed ID 104, which is highest for Adam, will come on top, right? And then this you do this and then rename this particular column as row number okay row number one two three four this is a row number okay we are actually doing it row number hmm? after uh, after arranging it we are doing this row number now what is happening here is we are actually storing into this particular table and straight away this we are actually uh, you know uh, taking this uh, taking I mean uh, querying this particular record now we are getting for Adam for 10 we are having four records but 
and then similarly for Christoph also we have uh, many records actually but for Christoph also starting from one row number so my interest area is basically Christoph should have uh, this row number one and it should have actually it should show laptop okay and for Adam it should show mobile something like that okay because I want to take the latest latest placed ID okay latest orders and what they actually placed it okay so if you see Christoph 1010 is the highest one right highest placed ID that's why I it should it is marked as row number one so if I just say here where uh, row number row number okay equal to one this will be all done right so we should be able to get it oopsie why it's not working guys all right we got it now this doesn't make any sense guys right because you can just remove it but then you got it right so Adam product is mobile and Christoph products is laptop okay fine so I would uh, say that you just go and just uh, watch this video okay if you are not able to understand one one time just create this table first okay create this table and then apply this then you will be able to understand guys so this is the very special query because uh, you see we are, we are first creating a temporary table here and then after that we are actually using this particular table to get the desired result right so that's the reason this is important okay and this kind of question you might uh, expect in somewhere else as well right I mean this different kind of question where they can say okay can you get me the very first record rather than you know uh, first uh, order or they can ask you can you get me the very uh, uh, so if I uh, if I need to get it basically the first one right if I can show you quickly okay what if I just need the very first uh, order right so whatever the customer has order I want that particular order okay in that case I don't need to do anything I simply need to say a S C that's it okay now we'll come to know ascending order mobile Christoph is also mobile Adam is also mobile how guys because the placed ID equal to 100 so what is the placed ID uh, 100 okay one second to, 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 to. placed ID 100 okay let me see select star from customer okay let's see all right so Adam 100 product is one actually okay now for Christoph also 100 product is one right so that's why product one is basically mobile only right that's why we are getting mobile here okay so that's why I mean this kind of question right so you can actually get it the first one last one something like that okay or second one something like that if second one says that then you order in the descending order uh, and then you just uh, put uh, row num equal to row number equal to two then you will get the second one right something like that okay so if you practice this kind of question I think uh, this is good and uh, believe me this kind of question if some interviewer is asking and you are able to answer your chances of getting selection is very very high because uh, these are not very basic question isn't it normal group by having clause and all this is not right so this is something that uh, very special because you are actually using uh, the uh, you are actually creating a temporary table and then on temporary table you are actually using another query here you see right so two select clause here one select clause but, but they work together right okay so that's all for this video guys and I really hope that uh, this is helpful and uh, one more thing um, uh, I'm not getting enough likes uh, and uh, what do you say uh, guys uh, like uh, are you able to understand what uh, uh, all those video that I'm creating because it it's really uh, uh, taking a lot of efforts from my side if you want me to improve anything you just let me know and uh, it doesn't take a single minute also or single second also to just hit on a on a like button if you really like it right or if you don't like it just hit on the unlike button also I'm okay at least if I I need to know right how I'm working and how I'm putting the efforts because these videos uh, making these videos I think uh, 
uh, getting uh, and preparing i think it takes some time right so it's uh, good that you also appreciate my work okay just by hitting the like button or the comment if you want something and also share with your friends as well right this gives me a lot of motivation as well same time right so this is uh, another aspect okay and uh, yeah i think uh, we are done with this uh, uh, video okay i'll see you soon with the next video until then happy learning god bless you and bye